Good morning chemistry kids. How are we doing today? Today we're starting our next unit, unit six, chemical reactions. Okay, so basically in the chemical reactions you see the objectives there. You will um, see that we're talking about different types of reactions, how to uh, complete reactions, and how to balance reactions really what it comes down to. Those are the three main topic ideas. But the first thing we need to know for any type of chemical reaction, for those that aren't familiar with it or anything like that, is basically how to know what parts of a chemical reaction are there. So this is a brief tutorial on what parts of a chemical reaction, what they look like, where they're at, what they mean, so on and so forth. So this G, G, and L, they are not on your sheet that I start you with, but you need to write those in. So here are the parts of a chemical reaction. First thing you should realize, these H, O, H2O, these are elements and compounds, right? So these are the things that make up a, make a chemical reaction go. And on these uh, parts of the chemical reaction, really what's going on here is that <coughs> they have different components. So you see a plus sign, you see an arrow, you see subscripts, you see coefficients, and they all tell you something different. So these numbers in front, this number, and this number. Those are called coefficients. Okay? And coefficients tell you the number of moles of whatever you're using. So, for example, we have two moles of H2. One mole, because the ones are not written but they're understood, one mole of O2, and two moles of H2O. So that tells you how many moles of a compound or element you have. These numbers right here, those are called subs subscripts. Those tell you the number of atoms. So for example, here I have two atoms of hydrogen, two atoms of oxygen, two atoms of hydrogen, one atom of oxygen. All right. <coughs> Coefficients these two and the two will help you balance the equation. So when we're balancing equations, we add coefficients, we don't change the subscripts. All right? Keep that in mind, that's an important thing to know. When we're balancing equations, which we'll get to later, you change the coefficients, not the subscripts. All right? And then you have the G, the G, and the L. All right? So basically, G, means that you have a gas state, a gas phase, and L means it's a liquid. You'll run into an S, which means it's a solid, and you also run into a Q, which means it's uh, dissolved in water. So you see, see those states out there, and those are going to be more apparent as we go through the stuff and get into more complex things. So those are the four things that could be where the G's and the L's are. All right, and that just tells you the state of the substance. It could be a gas liquid, phase, gas, liquid, solid, or an aqueous. Next part of the equation. This side of the arrow, right here, that's called the reactants. All right, so these are the reactants. Okay, notice the reactants are on the left side of the arrow where the on the back side of the arrow, the, way, the opposite where the arrow is going. Then this, everything on this side, no matter how much there is, this is called the products. All right, so, and then how I would read this is hydrogen gas, two moles of hydrogen gas reacts with one mole of O2 to produce two moles of H2O. That's how you would read it. All right, so realize that this mean this arrow right here tells you yields or produces, and this plus sign means it reacts with it. And if there's a plus sign on this side, that means it also produces another thing. So those are the basics. All right, now the question is, can you tell me how many, you know, atoms and moles and all that stuff kind of works out, which we'll get into details more. So you got to think that there's an, a number in front of the formula, you multiply that into the formula. Just that formula. So that for example, there's actually four atoms of hydrogen 
there's two atoms, and there's four hydrogens here, but there's two for oxygen. So that not those coefficients distribute into the chemical compound. All right. So the basics you need to know what the coefficients do, what the subscripts do, what the states mean, the reactants, the products, how to read a chemical reaction. And that's if you know how to do that, it'll help you out much, much more as time kind of goes on. All right, so here's a little brief introduction video. I hope this helped. We will uh, post more later, but have a good one.